Hi Capricorns, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really well. And one of the things I've learned this week is that well is not a dirty word. You're like, what? Well, see, I'm the type of person very passionate about life and about everything. So well just seemed like a boring word. But you know what well means? It's better than average. I'm doing well. I'm doing good. It doesn't have to always be fantastic and awesome and wonderful because sometimes you're doing well. And well is, doesn't mean that you're not doing wonderful. It just doesn't mean that you're not using that word. Um, and it's better than half. So that's really all that matters, right? So anyway, I'm just saying. So this week, I decided to pull from the Spell Crafting Oracle deck. Oh, let me tell you. Y'all are Capricorns. And this is for October 12, 2020 through October 18, 2020. Now, back to this. I pulled from the Spell Crafting Oracle deck. I've been pulling from it a lot, but I kind of get the feeling that maybe we're going to be moving on to something else soon. So the first card we get is the Emperor. The Emperor is all about masculine energy. And so there's a man in your life this week that you need to listen to. I know. I hate listening to people, too. I don't like it at all. I mean, sometimes I do. When they give me good advice, it makes sense to me. But sometimes we need to listen to that masculine energy that isn't what we think it needs to be. Just saying. Okay, the next card we get is upside down. It's the Page of Cups. And this is all about news and um, new ideas, imagination. So this masculine energy is going to lead you to a new idea and to some new, good news. Or at least I think it's good news. And the next card we get is a Knight of Wands, so turn it over. Now this card is all about rushing off without paying attention. Now, I don't know if you've ever done that, but sometimes I go off half-cocked as the saying goes. And what that means is that I did not stop and look at the whole picture. Have you ever been mad at someone and you really shouldn't have been, but you just took what they said out of context? That's what this card is all about. It's not rushing off like that. So when you get this news from this masculine energy, from this person of authority, don't get pissed off. Okay? Because... Well, I just don't. Oh, I forgot to pull the other cards. Whoopsie. The first card is grieving. So that tells me that part of the message you're going to get this week is sad to you. But with everything else I'm seeing, I don't think the whole thing is sad. I, I don't. I, I think that you're going to get some goodness too out of this. But there's going to be some sense of loss and some grieving in something. And that's okay. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to grieve. And then it's okay to dust yourself off and start all over again. Second, it says you're going to have good luck. By the way, that's a gorgeous kitty. So you're going to have good luck in spite of this grieving. In spite of the sadness that you're going to feel. And thirdly, you're going to get some freedom out of it. So whatever you're grieving has actually been keeping you bound up in ways you didn't know. This could be the end of a friendship, the end of a, of a relationship, changing positions. Something is going to cause you to grieve. But when you do, you're going to get freedom out of it. In the meantime, somebody's going to tell you what to do. And you're going to hear new stuff. So when this happens this week, I don't want you to feel like it's all lost or all over. Grieving's natural. Letting go of things is natural. But you're going to get up and dust yourself off. You know, like when you fall off a horse, you're supposed to get up and ride again. It's the same thing. You need to be prepared for that. Now, I decided also to read from my crystal ball this week. I 
I see a ship sailing off into the horizon, which means a new beginning for you. Yes, you're going to be going somewhere. And going somewhere is not necessarily a literal journey, but you're going somewhere new. Kind of like when you see the Five of Swords. Is it the Five? I think it's the Five of Swords. You're going towards something, not away from something. I see a butterfly. This grieving is something that's going to turn into an amazing experience for you. And you're going to be transformed. And once again, have get freedom and good luck. But first, you got to do the grieving. But even there, you've got the butterfly there, the transformation. And I see a diamond. So right now, you know how diamonds are made? They're carbon. And it's pushed down upon them. Hard, 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 hard pressure. And then they come forth and they're a beautiful diamond. You're a diamond. But right now you're going through the fire. You're going through that pressure. But it's going to be okay. Because you're going to have freedom and transformation out of it. If y'all want to do a private reading, send me a text. 405-512-9400 or even call me. If not, I'll talk to you soon.